So we're continuing our solving of inequalities and graphing the solutions on a number line and writing the solutions in interval notation. We are given 3q is greater than or equal to 7q minus 23. So if this were an equation, it, we could move the 3q to the right-hand side, move the 23 to the left-hand side. To me, it's just as easy to work with negative values and remember to switch the, uh, the direction of the inequality symbol. We'll subtract 7q from both sides to get the, the variable on the left-hand side. We end up with negative 4q is greater than or equal to negative 23. Divide both sides by negative 4, and we get q. We switch the direction of the inequality symbol since we divided both sides by negative 4, a negative number. q is less than or equal to 23 fourths. And that's just under 24 fourths, which would be 6. So q is less than or equal to just a little bit below 6. So we'll go ahead and draw our number line. We'll start with 6 over here on this end. And then this would be 23 fourths. You can use whatever scale you want as long as you put it in the correct place. This would be 22 fourths or 11 halves. 21 fourths. This would be 20 fourths, which is 5. 19 fourths. 9 halves and 17 fourths and you again could use whatever scale you want to you could go 6 5 4 3 2 1 as long as you put uh, as long as you put 23 fourths on there in the correct place if it's you know in between 6 and 5 it'd be 5 and 3 fourths so this inequality is inclusive it includes an equal sign so we can use a bracket or a closed circle I'm gonna go ahead and use a closed circle and it's less than or equal to, so we're going to the left. And then in interval notation, since it's going left infinitely, we're going from negative infinity to 23 fourths. It does include 23 fourths because it's inclusive. So in interval notation, it would be negative infinity 23 fourths with a bracket on the right-hand side. 